Let's talk about motion graphics, like that video that you just saw. Imagine if you could make your online content pop with really cool animations all by yourself without needing any tech skills. And now you can, thanks to Jitter. So this week we're talking about Jitter.video. It is a super user-friendly website where you can create your own beautiful animations or what we call motion graphics. They're basically just really fun moving images that show off your services in an eye-catching way. Now, if you're saying to yourself, but Erin, why don't I just use Canva? Well, Jitter is not your mama's Canva anymore, okay? Jitter is designed specifically for one thing, and that is motion graphics. Canva, on the other hand, while it shines in many, many ways, its animations are a lot more limited, way less complex, and gives you a lot fewer options to change. And not only that, but Canva's been around for so many years now that I end up seeing the same templates over and over and over again. And I feel like these days I can tell when somebody's content is made in Canva. So I thought to myself, Aaron, why not try something different? So let's hop into Jitter and figure out what it looks like, how it works, what you can make with it, and how and why it'll be so helpful to your VA business. All right, so here we are in our brand new Jitter account for free. Here's what I'm going to tell you my most favorite thing is about this platform. It is that they provide you templates. So essentially, we don't even have to custom create something from nothing. Now, if you're especially new to motion graphics, and again, that just means animations and movements, I highly recommend you check out the templates and build your stuff off of those first. Let's you and I do a simple design test together. Um, so let's go ahead and edit this one. Again, we're going to have to duplicate to be able to edit. And let's run through what this looks like and how we're going to make changes together, because you might think it's obvious, but it's actually not that obvious. Okay, so at a glance, you're like, okay, I'm here, I'm ready to make changes, and I don't understand how to do it. It's actually a lot simpler than you think. To change text on one of these templates, all you want to do is double click so that you see that the text is clearly highlighted. Then what we're going to do is we're going to simply type what we want to type in. So um, I'm just going to type in motion graphics. Obviously, our text is too Big. So what do we do about that? There's nothing obvious or no obvious way to make the text smaller. Direct your attention to the right side of your screen, please, and click on design. Now it's giving us a couple different options that you will be familiar with. Um, you can change uh, the direction where your text starts. The layout is the position. Now the position is like you can add minor shifts. So I'm shifting my motion graphics 500 characters to the right. Um, I don't want to shift it anywhere. So you can either hit control Z to get out of that um, or just simply highlight this and go back to zero. We can also do things like change our text font. So if you have a different font or something that aligns more with your brand, knock yourselves out. <laughs> but what I really want to do for this one is simply um, is simply change the size. So under text is where we're going to be making our our edits. Um, and that's good enough for me. Oh, if you know, you can also change the letter spacing. You can change the lettering height. So I've made the change to my first uh, text motion graphics. And you might notice that the uh oh back of the text isn't different. Well, each layer of text is actually individual. Um, each layer of text can be individually highlighted. So all you want to do is double click on this text. Whoops. Double click on the various lines of text here. So let's, uh, let's double click on our second layer. I'm going to highlight my text. And once again, I'm going to type in motion graphics. And I'm going to have to change the size so it aligns with the other one, which I accidentally moved somehow. There. And we'll do the same thing with the third and fourth layer. <laughs> Okay, so the text is done. Now, I'm very happy with the background of this particular motion graphic, but if you wanted to change it and import your own video, you could simply hit replace media and then upload your own file. Don't forget, you can get amazing free videos from pexels.com. Now, you can certainly change other things. If you wanted to add a different animation, once again, we're going to our right side of the screen. We're going to click animate and new animation. Um, here's where we have some fade in, fade out, some slides, some masking. Uh, if you wanted to make changes, you'll see 
you click on a change and it pulls it up in your bar down below. So you can make your new motion graphics longer or shorter depending on your needs or your vision. So I just wanted to fool around a little bit with you and show you guys what this could do. I feel like this tool gives me a little bit extra oomph that I just don't find with Canva right now. And again, it's just because Jitter is made for one and one thing only, and that's motion. So if you're looking for a little extra wow for your social media content, consider checking out Jitter. Um, I mean, you you could just, you could do an entire video of um, social media that's like zooming in and out. It could be your website, you know, like your website could be here and then we could zoom into your services page and just think about the opportunities that you have to showcase your services in a whole new different and eye-catching way. So free Jitter accounts allow you to download your video content in 720p, which sure, it isn't the highest quality, but I think 720 is perfectly sufficient for the majority of folks. Free accounts also come with a branded watermark. So if you wanna ditch that, you can absolutely pay the upgrade fee uh, either monthly or on an annual plan. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video and I'll catch you on the next one.